Hi, so in this particular video we're going to be using a tree diagram to solve this particular problem. Now if you follow the link below in the description you'll be able to go through and have a go at a very similar types of questions for yourself. In this particular case we've got uh, a guy who's got some red and green marbles in a bag and he's got five red marbles and three green marbles and we're being asked to complete the probability tree but also work out the probability of him picking two different colours if he picks it the first time and then again the second time. Now the important thing with this particular one is you'll notice in the question itself that um, it actually implies it's without replacement. What they mean by that is he doesn't put the marble back in the bag. So let's just have a look at that first. So the first time he's got five out of eight red marbles which also means that he's got three out of eight green marbles. So just ignore everything else at the moment. Just have a look at that. We've got eight marbles in the bag, five of which are red, three of which are green. And the guy's gonna put his hand in at random and he's gonna pull out a marble. Well, there's a five out of eight chance he's gonna get a red one and a three out of eight chance he's gonna get a green one, but he's taken a marble away. So that means now there are seven marbles in the bag. So whatever happens the next time, it's going to be out of seven marbles. That's a really important principle. You need to remember this is without replacement. OK, so let's have a look at what's going on the second time. Well, you've got to kind of ignore this, but if you can imagine that now he's um, the first time around, he takes a red uh, marble, which means he's only got four red marbles left in the bag. So out of the seven he's got, he's picked, uh, out of the eight he had originally, he's picked one, which means there's now seven, and it also means that there were five, there's now four. However, the green marbles remain the same because the first time around he picked a red marble, okay? So it means now there's three green marbles left in the bag and four red marbles. Now we pretty much do the same for this bottom bit that he picked a green the first time round. Well, because there were three, there's now only two, but the red marbles remained untouched. So there's five red marbles in the bag. I hope that's okay for you. This is kind of a, a star type, so it's about level five, level six at GCSE. It does take a little bit of time, but if you have a look at the post, I'll give you some more examples there. Okay, so let's have a look at then at this part B of the question, which is the probability of different colours. What we're doing here is we're looking at what they call outcomes. Uh, so the first outcome is red, red. Okay. The second outcome is red, and then he picks a green, which is kind of what we're interested in, this one here, because of the probability of different colours. So the third time is green, red. So green, Red, we're interested in those two because they're different colours. And then green, green, we're not interested in. So let's have a look at the probability of him taking red, green. Well, probability of taking a red, first time round is 5, 8. So this is red, green. And the probability of taking a green the next time around is 3, 7. So the total probability of red, green is going to be 5 times 3 is 15 and 8 times 7 is 56. So in other words, every 56 times he does this, 15 times he's going to get a red and then a green. Okay, let's have a look at green, red. Well, you've got green, red, 3 8 multiplied by 5 7 and actually it's exactly the same, which is kind of handy because if we now look at the combined probabilities, we add those two together, so the probability of either red, green or green, red total is going to be 30 out of 56. And if we're going to be very smart about it, we can actually reduce that as you should do normally with fractions. And that's going to be 15 out of 
28 and that's my final answer okay there's a lot to take on board there particularly because this is um, a high level question i've rattled through it because that's three minute videos it's uh, just very quick reminders i hope it's been okay for you there are some more examples in the playlist i look forward to seeing you inside the next video Thank you.